Hey everybody, it's Mago here, and I just wanted today to teach you the basics of binary. I know everybody out there, they usually hear about it, just collections of one zeros, what the heck they are, you have to be a geek if you know this. Well, I know I had to learn at some point, because, hey, I thought it'd sound fun. So here, I will teach you how to do binary. And so, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, we will start with a simple number. We'll just have this number be 1, 1, 1, 1. So, simply put, binary runs off of the exponents of 2. So, when reading binary, you read from right to left. So the exponents would run, in this case, we'll start on the far right. So, you would start with 2 to the 0, which is equal to 1. The next place, 2 to the 1, which is equal to 2. 2 to the second, which is equal to 4. 2 to the third, which is equal to 8. Now, let me line these up so it looks easier, or looks better, I guess. Okay. So now, whenever there is a 1 in binary, you count that digit. So, in this case, this 1 holds the value of 1. So you add that digit into your end result along with this number, it holds the value of 2, you add that to this one, which makes 3, now you add 4, that makes 7, add 8, that makes 15. So 1, 1, 1, 1 is equal to 15. That's 12, that's 15, there we go. Alright, so now let's add some zeros in there. Let's say I add in a 0. Now, what a 0 does, it just gets rid, basically, of this number. So, it would, instead of being 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, it'd be 1 plus 4 plus 8, just ignoring the number that's represented by a 2. So in this case, your end result would be 13. Now, let's say I go even further and make this a 0. Now, this is equal to 9, because you only take the first and the last digit in this case and ignore the two middle numbers represented by zeros. Now, just for fun, let's add another digit. So we'll add an extra 1 out here. Now, this is represented by 2 to the 4th. So 2 to the 4th is 16. So now, in this case, it would be 1 plus 8, which is 9, plus 16, which is equal to 25. In this method, you can represent pretty much every single number. Like, let's say you wanted to represent the number 1, it's just 1. The number 2 is 1, 0, because it would be 2 plus um, 1, but since there's a 0 in the 1's place, the 1 does not count, so it's 2 plus 0, which is 2. And to represent 3, it's 1, 1. Let's get rid of that so you can see it easier. And let's say you want to represent 4. You just add a 0 here, or oh, sorry, a 1 here, and make those zeros, because that's the third digit. Now, if you want to get more complicated, as you go in binary numbers, they're going to get a lot larger. So your next number, you have to multiply each um, consecutive number by 2. So you get 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, and 1024, etc. Keep, it um, keeps going up exponentially. Now, I doubt any of us would be ever using this, but hey, this is kind of fun to learn. So, now, in this tutorial, I titled my tutorial Binary 101. So what does 101 represent? Oops. 101. Well, according to this chart, 101 should just simply equal 5. Now, this should make pretty simple sense. It just goes up exponentially. So therefore, the zeros are not counted. The ones are. All you have to do is do simple little addition. And I can just add 1 here, 1 here. And now, what number does this equal? Well, you have the 1, so that's 1, plus 4 is 5, plus 8 is 13, plus 16 makes that 29. So that number is equal to 29. In this method, you can calculate any number, amaze your friends, who knows what you want to do with this. It's just a simple, fun little binary. <laughs> Call it what you like, I guess. And that is it for my binary tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful. 
Um, if you have any clarifying questions, just comment, and I hope this helped. Make a fair four, over and out.